Hey everyone, welcome to Data Millennials. I am Atul and in this video we are going to discuss how we can apply or use Colay's function with the help of calculated field or by using calculated field in Looker or Google Data Studio. So as you can see here, we have a table in which we have customer name, customer nickname, final name and age. If you notice that some of the customer names over here is null. Similarly, some of the customer's nickname over here is also null. But this final name column is not null. Everywhere we are getting the name. Although for some customers, the age is also null. right? So if I take you to our raw data, which is over here, then you can see here that in my raw data GDS Colis 107, we have customer ID, we have customer name, customer nickname, age and cart value. In this data set, we can see that some of the names value are blank and suppose you have to get the customer name either from the field customer name or customer nickname which is over here. But in case if your input table which is this input data has null or blank in both the names then you can have null or blank in your final name. But if there is blank in customer name, you have to take customer nickname. So any of these two column values is not null, then you have to put the value over there. The priority should be given to this column. So if customer name is not null, then you have to take the customer name. But if customer name is null, for example, over here, if customer name is null, you can see customer three is blank over here then we have to take the nickname as Vaseem as the customer name or the final name which you can see over here so customer name is null customer nickname is Vaseem and the final name that we are getting is Vaseem so in this video we will be creating this table and then we are going to apply or use the Colace function as a calculated field from scratch so that you can get an idea that how you can use or apply Colace function in Looker with the help of a calculated field. So before we use the Colace function, let's understand about this a little. So Colace function is a conditional function in Looker and it returns the first non-missing value which ever is found in the list of fields. As you can see over here, we have the syntax where this is the function name and then we have to give the field expressions. So for us over here in the example, we'll give the field expression as this where the priority will be given to customer name column, then the priority is given to customer nickname. If customer name is blank, then take customer nickname. Now one of the things that we need to understand about this field expression is that it is a field or expression of the same type. You cannot have different data type for the different field expression as an argument within the Colace function. Okay, so let's go and create this table. So I'm going to click on edit and I'm going to add a new page over here. So let me copy the header and put it over here. Now if your report doesn't have data imported in it, then what you can do is that you can click on add data and based on the selector or wherever your data resides, you can select a selector, Google selector from here and import your data. But for me, I have already imported the data for this example to show you in the starting of video. So I'm not going to import the data over here. I'm just going to create a table by going to chart and selecting the table. The moment you will select a table, you will see that Looker will by default select a data source for you and it will also select dimension and metric for you. And in case if you want to change your data source, you can come up to setup section, click over here and select your data based on your requirement. So now the thing is that we have to take certain columns in our dimension. So the first column that I'm going to take is the customer name. And you can see over here the customer name. Okay, this customer name. is null over here where the record count is 2 and we have 
two null values over here. Okay. The next thing that we are going to take over here is the customer nickname. And now you can see that we have two nulls over here and the record count is one one. So let's remove this record count. And let's take age as our metric. Now what we need to do is that we need to give or create a new column which will show the final customer name over here and that column will be created using the calculated field with the coalesce function. So I'm going to create a calculated field over here and there are two options to create a calculated field. Either you can create a calculated field in your metric section that will be called as calculated metric or you can create a calculated field in your data section. If you create your calculated field in your metric section as a calculated metric, then you will be able to use that calculated metric for this table only. You won't be able to use that for any other visualization visit in your report. But if you create your calculated field in data section, you will be able to use that calculated field in any visualization visit within your report. So I'm just going to give the field name over here. So let me show you how I come to this part. So in order to create a calculated field, you have to click on add a field. The moment you will click on add a field, Looker will give this window where you have to give the field name. So I'm just going to give the field name as customer final name. And within this formula, I'm going to give the keyword which is coalesce. And the moment you will write COA, you will see that Looker IntelliSense will show you the coalesce function. If you select this, then within this bracket, we have to give the arguments. For us, the argument is these two columns, customer name and customer nickname. So uh, I'm going to put customer name and then I'm going to give customer nickname. Okay. And then I can click on save and click on finish and you will see that you have a new column over here which says customer final name. If I take this column and put it over here under dimension, you will see that you have a new column over here and this customer final name is not null for any of the record. Even though we have null over here, let me increase the size of this table. So as I was saying, even though this customer name is null, but the nickname is Vaseem. So it's taking the customer final name as Vaseem. Similar for this row number nine, we have null in customer name, but nickname is Swati. So it's taking Swati as the final customer name. Okay. So this is how basically you can use Kolei's function to return the first non-missing value in your report. Happy learning and see you in the next video.